Hello my kings and queens, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra if you're new and today I will be doing a draw my life because I just hit 500 subs. I was born March 8th, 2002, which makes me 16 years old currently. And no, Andrea is not my last name, that is my middle name. I am the third daughter of Stephanie and Reggie, my mom and my dad, and they are pretty cool parents, I have to say. I grew up as the baby of the family. I have two other sisters, Simone, who's 22 years old, and Chanel, who's 19 years old. Simone is a part-time DJ, and Chanel is currently in college, living her best life, I guess. <laughs> My favorite childhood memory is going to Disney World every two years with my family. My first trip was when I was two and it was super, super fun. I became addicted to the Disney princesses. In 2013, I went to California for a family reunion, but was able to meet Zendaya in LA on the beach. LA is probably my top favorite place that I've ever been in my life. When I was younger, I always wanted to be something. In elementary school, I wanted to be a teacher. So I would always play a game where I set up all of my dolls and Barbies, got a whiteboard and pretended to teach them with my homework. My parents never minded because at least I was doing homework, right? For Christmas one year, I got a Nintendo DS XL. With it, I got a game where I got to design clothes. From then, I wanted to be a fashion designer. When I was seven, I fell in love with drawing and I got the gene from my dad who always drew cartoons. When I was eight, I began learning to play piano. My sisters were in it and I wanted to do it too, but we began to dread waking up every Saturday to go to practice. When I was nine, my dad took me and my cousins to Odyssey Fun World, a jungle gym fun place for kids and teens. I went inside of the jungle gym, which was one of my favorite places to go when we went. This particular time, I bumped into a not so friendly girl who tried to fight me. Yes, fight me. I immediately left scene and found my dad. The next day, he immediately demanded that my sisters and I learn self-defense in case anything like that ever happened again or worse. I'm now a second degree black belt in Taekwondo and I've been in it for 11 years. I always wanted to do gymnastics, but I began afraid when my sister Chanel tried to teach me how to do a cartwheel in our basement. I fell and bumped my head. That basically ended all hopes of being a gymnast for me. A few years ago, my dad and I would go to an open gym at a facility and learn cool flips. I'm currently working on my back flip and I'm so close to landing on my feet. At my church, my dad is the children's choir director. So I've been in choir since I was like, too young to remember. In middle school, I loved all of my friends. School was fun to come to every day. My friends and I had a strong bond and we were like family. My family found out through an unknown source that my school would be closing in the next year or two. My dad heard that and decided to pull me out before the real damage could be done. I began going to a school very different than the one I was used to. It was a Catholic school and the students were very diverse. I began to love the school I dealt with haters, of course, but when eighth grade rolled around, I had another school family, but still went back to my old school to visit friends before it closed. Freshman year of high school was very short. I attended an all girls school and made at least 10 friends in the first week. They became family too. We went to parties, football games at our brother's school next door, and just had fun. The teachers weren't the best sometimes, but I knew I had my girls. January 24th came and we found out that our school would be closing at the end of the year due to low enrollment. This changed my hope for schools as this was my, my second time transferring because my school was closing. I had gotten comfortable twice and was now forced to up and move again. I'm currently at a school that is okay. I love my teachers, most of them at least. And I found a nice group of friends that is a nice size for me. I'm trying to keep my circle smaller this year. YouTube, to me back in the day, was a source to listening to music. My favorite songs, my favorite artists. My first exposure to a legit YouTube video was in seventh grade. I wanted to reminisce of the 2013 LA trip that I went on by watching videos of the water park we went to called Raging Waters. I came across a video of a husband and wife taking their toddler to the park. They had so much fun and I did too as I watched them 
take me through their day. It felt like I was there with them. I then clicked their page and found out they had tons of videos. They uploaded every single day. That was insane to me at the time and it still is. I came to school one day and began talking to Kennedy about what I had watched. She told me that she watched YouTube too. We spent an entire computer class just watching vlogs and challenges and laughing. The next day in computer class, we came up with the idea to start our own channel. Our name would be both of our names combined. We didn't like Kiera as it was a common name, so we settled for Sianity. We went to her house that day after school and filmed a little Q&A on her huge Mac desktop. It was never posted. We then made a Google Slides presentation for our parents convincing them to let us create a YouTube channel. They laughed and said no. We came up with the idea to just make videos and send them to our friends through email. Yeah, that plan wasn't thought through. We kept pushing for YouTube and in August of 2016, my parents gave the okay that pushed her parents to say yes. I purchased my own Canon T5 and right away, we filmed our first legit video that you can go check out on our channel. We're currently thriving on 220 subs. I then became in love with makeup. In the Christmas of 2016, my mom bought me a palette from Walmart and an and a eyebrow kit. <clears throat> I was able to play around. My sister would let me practice on her and I got better and better. In 2017, I purchased the Jaclyn Hill palette and the Ready Set Gold palette, both made by Morphe. I began getting better and practicing on my aunt. I then decided that I wanted to create an Instagram account specifically for makeup tutorials that I make. I then created a YouTube channel dedicated to longer makeup videos. Out of nowhere, the videos became more than just makeup. I wanted to highlight and really make frank that Sanity was not ending. I did not go solo. I just wanted a space where I could create my own ideas. I also started making music leads, but they didn't really get any views or likes. They were just for my laughable enjoyment. Taking my sister to college for college orientation, my family and I stayed at a hotel. I found myself creating tons of music leads just because I was bored. I made one lip syncing to this song that this girl sang. It got a lot of views and suddenly my followers began to skyrocket. Before I knew it, I had hit a thousand, then 10,000, and now 50,000. It's crazy to think that 50,000 people in this world watch me. Crazy. My channel just recently hit 500 subs and I am so grateful for that. I love all of my kings and queens and I call you all that because you are royalty. I have so many plans for the future and many more draw my life updates as I haven't even graduated high school yet. My dream since sixth grade is to attend USC, University of Southern California. I hope to major in media and communications so I can continue to do things like YouTube or even television. Not acting, no, I don't wanna be an actress. 2019 has a lot in store for me and it's only the beginning of my journey. This is my story so far. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel to become a king or a queen. Thanks again for 500 subs. You guys are literally the best. I love you. My dream is to be on panels at VidCon, Playlist Live, do meet and greets and tours to meet you guys and many more. P.S. I'm trying to post at least once a week, hopefully twice when the stress of junior year winds down. Thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Bye.